Okay, for our last talk, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, Takeo Asawa from Nagoya, who's gonna talk about glimpses of embeddings and deformations of CR manifolds. Thank you very much for the introduction. Uh, we will be wearing the switch on the mic. mic. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, thank you very much for the kind of invitation. Uh, first of all, I must apologize uh, because uh, I must use uh, the blackboard because uh, two years ago, my computer was broken. So, uh, let me show you at first what I prepared. Uh, uh, to show you. <laughs> so, yeah, th this is the first thing. Uh, Masatake Kuranishi, his life and mathematics, uh, Japanese. So, uh, some important part of my talk uh, will be just. Uh, English translation of a part of this book. Uh, this is uh, uh, I think this morning Professor Fukaya showed this to you uh, selected the papers of Masatake Kuranishi. Uh, and uh, this is our first very famous paper of first important paper of Kuranishi, which appeared in the first volume of proceeding of AMS. Uh, last week, Professor Nomichi told us an uh, interesting story about uh, the manuscript of this, uh, how uh, this paper was brought from Japan to <laughs> the United States. Uh, it was uh, brought with uh, a paper of Kiyoshi Oka. Kiyoshi Oka's paper was, was published in a French journal. Anyway, uh, uh, this is also in Japanese. I will not translate this. This is too long. But uh, let me say that uh, there are uh, 49 mathematicians uh, written. The names of 49 mathematicians are written in these two pages starting from Nakayama, uh, Tadashi Nakayama, Nakayama's lemma. Uh, last week, Sue mentioned <laughs> Nakayama's lemma several times. Uh, oh, perhaps you can see the name. Of, uh, why? Herman Weil uh, and Bay. And uh, there are a group, names of a group of Japanese young algebraic geometers, including Hironaka. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, this is, I will talk uh, about at the end. I will talk about uh, uh, a paper of Ranishi, uh, which appeared in, in this proceedings uh, in 1995. Uh, this was a big conference in Japan uh, in several complex variables. Uh, okay. 
Uh, let me use the blackboard. Uh, is uh, everything okay? At least uh, for here. But uh, people online we will see the blackboard. Yeah, maybe just we just continue while we sort of. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kranis is paper uh, in nineteen in nineteen fifty. Was on this question. I first saw Kranich's name for the first time in a textbook by Yozo Matsushima, uh, namely, this work was mentioned. Uh, introduction. Published in 1965. <coughs> uh, in this book, it was written that uh, that the problem was affirmative affirmatively solved by the effort of Yamabe Kuranishi Goto Montgomery Britain And Grison. Uh, yeah, it is surprising that uh, in such an introductory book, these names were written. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, by the way, yesterday I, I found a book by Montgomery and Zippin in a bookstore here. Uh, it was surprising. Uh, I looked into the book and found in the introduction Kranich's name. Yeah. The author thanked him for proofreading. <coughs> yeah, uh, that's, uh, uh, yeah, there, there are something about uh, Akizuki's book. Uh, I showed you two pages where uh, there are 49 people. <laughs> In Akizuki, I saw uh, Kranich's name also in Akizuki's book. Uh, it, it, it was published around this year. And uh, uh, let me write some novel. Uh, the names written here. Nakayama, Kodaira, 
ओका कड़तांग दिस वाज अप टू 1948 and after that eh uh, the, the name of human wife it is written in in this book that uh, while sent uh, akizuki and they use Foundation of algebraic geometry, a very famous uh, book, uh, to <coughs> Kakutani, uh, to Kakutani, who brought Planish's paper uh, to the United States. And uh, Hakutani gave it to Akizuki. And Akizuki's daughters typed the book because there are no, no copy machines at that time. And uh, this uh, type written book uh, distributed among the students of Akizuki. In such a way, they use book was read in Japan soon after the war. And uh, uh, since Herman Weil's name uh, is here. And on this occasion, I want to say something more about the relation between Weil and Japan. Yeah, as you know, uh, Weil gave uh, a speech on the occasion of uh, ICM in Amsterdam. Uh, when uh, Kodaira and uh, Seya received the Fields Prize. Uh, uh, before that, uh, while I was in Gettingen with Hilbert, <laughs> and uh, in Gettingen, uh, there was another young Japanese mathematician. Mitsuo Ochikawa. It is known that uh, Yoshikawa uh, wrote a uh, good paper and uh, his paper is uh, uh, in some journal. Uh, related to the Academy of Getting. And it is said that uh, his paper is the first uh, 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 first paper in mathematics uh, which attained the international level. <laughs> and uh, uh, as you know, while published a very famous book, the Ide the Riemann Shen Preke. Kodaira read this book and uh, inspired, he was in, inspired very much. And he wanted to, to uh, generalize the theory to higher dimension. That was the starting point of Kodaira's theory of complex manifolds. On the other hand, uh, Yoshikawa uh, returned to Japan 
and uh, wrote a book, uh, published a book in the same year. Uh, it is the first textbook uh, in function theory in Japan. And uh, approximately 200 pages, but uh, at the end, uh, you can see the fundamental domain of the triangle group. So a bit of automorphic function in Yoshikawa's book. And the introduction, in the introduction, Yoshikawa states that in the near future, I want to add a chapter of elliptic function. But unfortunately, Yoshikawa passed away soon after uh, the publication of this book. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> uh, someone in Japan add uh, the chapter of elliptic functions <laughs> to this book. Oh, <laughs> Yoshikawa was in getting. Uh, next. <clears throat> This, this was before 1975. It was in 1975 uh, when I first met uh, Kuranishi. Oh, yes. Uh, in this book, I saw Kuranishi's, uh, I didn't say anything about Kuranishi's, yeah, sorry. Uh, Akizuki wrote that, uh, let me say, uh, where is it? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I saw a passage in this book saying that the first remarkable movement of mathematical research in Japan after World War II arose from Nagoya by the activity of Matsushima, Goto, Kuranishi, and Yamabe. Okay. Yes. So it was in June 1975 in Kyoto that I saw Kuranishi for the first time. He stayed in Kyoto University, uh, RIMS, the Research Institute for Mathematical Sciences. Uh, at that time, uh, one week meeting was held in October on the deformation of isolated singularity. A course of 10 hours by Kuranishi was given in the meeting. Kuranishi's course was uh, on his approach to the problem uh, by the analysis of tangential Cauchy Riemann equations. Tangential Cauchy. Uh, yeah, I, I will, yeah, yeah, I will talk about later. Uh, tangential Cauchy Riemann equations. Uh, yes. Uh, let, let me see. Kuranishi's uh, lectures. Oh. I forgot to show you some, uh, something, uh, but uh, it seems to be difficult to change the <laughs> yeah. Screen. So let me continue. Uh, his lectures was about uh, isolated similarities. Let me be a complex analytic set in CN. Uh, with an isolated similar point. At zero. Then 
you take a small sphere centered at the origin and consider the intersection with V. Then it is not difficult to observe some properties. Past. <coughs> Uh, if you look at the complexified tangent bundle of M, uh, if we, uh, you take S sufficiently small, then M is a compact uh, real manifold, uh, some odd dimension. If the dimension of V is N, then uh, this, is, this is a real manifold of dimension 2n minus 1. Yeah. You look at uh, the intersection of uh, CTM and uh, uh, the uh, 0, 0,1 part of the uh, uh, tangent bundle of M. M, M is uh, a complex manifold outside the senior point. <clears throat> uh, then, for any open subset of V, uh, if you take a infinity section of this bundle over u cap m. Then you have the so called tangential Cauchy Lima equation. X, F, A, X, H equals zero. Uh, functions satisfying this equation are boundary values of homomorphic functions. This subbundle has This property. <laughs> I take it to complex continuity, and then this intersection is zero. The rank of this is n minus one. Uh, and uh, you have another property, very important property. Let me use color chalk. If you take another, another section Y from here, then the B bracket of these things. Belongs to this space, this set. Uh, very, very important property. Then we are naturally led to the definition of abstract real manifold.
and uh, by, by properties and without uh, one comma one point five uh, we say it is an almost CR manifold. Then uh, another project is to describe an equation for a section phi from here. To, to be a CR structure. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is uh, uh, CTM. And, uh, this direction is uh, your T double prime. And uh, <laughs> we consider an almost CR structure at first which can be described uh, as a graph of some, yeah, some linear map. Uh, uh, this is a graph of, graph, graph of, uh, right. Then uh, find the equation for phi to be a CR structure, satisfy one, four. Second, uh, you can observe by a theorem in several complex variables that for all CR structure substantially close to the original structure, you can find a complex manifold say V5 prime with boundary such that M is one of the connected components of the boundary and there exists a normal Stein space we phi such that the boundary of uh, this Stein space is M. Uh, we phi prime, we phi prime uh, is, uh, is important. The relation between V5 prime and V5 is just this. Uh, this is open. So, oh, oh. Uh, this structure is uh, deformed. Uh, And uh, uh, ah, so let me say uh, V5 prime is uh, like this. Uh, this is uh, uh, so to speak, M5 
Okay. And by several complex variables, it is known that uh, ah, uh, under some restriction on the maybe not. Ah, uh, by the theorem of Harvey and Rawson, uh, you, you can find a complex analytic feeling. Uh, that's uh, very fine. Okay. Uh, there are three things more in Kranich's project. The third one uh, in this circumstance. Uh, one has to find the following estimates for the solution. Right. The inverse mapping. Of much smaller type instead of open mapping theorem of Banach, if construction. Of the Basel family of the deformations of isolated singularities after defining appropriate. Equivalence relation between CR structures. So, in the lecture uh, at RIMS, these things were stated at first. And uh, after the lecture, Kuranichi told us that uh, uh, I want to, yeah, he want, wanted to compare uh, what he constructed. With Grawat's flat family. Uh, it was, in fact, a big question, and it took time before it was solved completely. Uh, by the effort of Akahori and Miyajima. Uh, in the book of his life and mathematics, Kranichi uh, make a comment. Uh, let me read it. Yes, yes. Ah, before that, uh, Kranichi uh, remarks that this research was motivated by Richard Hamilton's work on the deformation of complex manifolds with boundary. Uh, this uh, Kranichi's approach was completed by Miyajima in 1999. 
uh, currency gives a nice commentary on this achievement. Uh, the following is uh, uh, by Kuranis. By Hironaka's theorem, every singular point of analytic set can be regarded as an object which is obtained by contracting a part of some complex manifold. Accordingly, it was brought under con consciousness that various structures come together around a singular point. Existence of basal families of isolated singularities has been proved by Grauer. He also generalized the existence of a complete family of compact complex manifolds, which I had proved before, to the case of analytic spaces. St stimulated by such activity, I was attracted to the deformation theory of singularities. What I proposed was to apply a method of differential geometry by studying isolated singularities through CR geometry, which had come into play in the 70s. In this direction, existence of the basal family of isolated singularity was proved by such a method by Kimio Miyajima. Yeah. Uh, in Miyajima's work, an important step was to restrict oneself to those CR manifolds which are embeddable into CN in a uniform manner. Yeah. Uh, Professor Lawson and uh, uh, Harvey and Professor Lawson's theorem can be used only after we, we have embedding <laughs> into C, some CN. Uh, the point is to consider only the embeddings where the dimension of the ambient space is the same as that for the original isolated singularity. This viewpoint was first brought into attention by a paper of Brand and Epstein. Uh, yes. Uh, so, this is over. Oh, let me continue. Let me continue. Where is my next? Hmm? Ah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, next, uh, this was around 1975. Around 1983. Uh, let me skip some detail. And, uh, yeah. Kranish uh, uh, was invited by thesis advisor, Shinigo Nakano. Uh, Nakano was interested in CR manifolds also, and he wrote uh, two papers on that. Uh, one of those papers was with, with me. So let me say something about that. Uh, one day I was called by Nakano. Uh, Nakano said that he obtained a formula uh, on the integrability of almost complex extension of a complex manifold with boundary. He wanted to extend the complex structure across the boundary. Mm -hmm. And he wrote up the equation for the almost complex structure to be integrable. Yeah. Uh, he, he was, uh, uh, he seemed to be delighted uh, to, uh, to be able to write down the equation. Yeah. And uh, uh, apparently he, he wanted to, uh, 
uh, uh, let me do some job. But uh, I, I hesitated, hesitated because he told me that uh, the equation consisted, consisted of more than 20 terms. Nevertheless, shortly after this moment, an idea came into my mind uh, to overcome that point. I told it to Nakano, but uh, he didn't seem to be convinced. But a few days after that, I was called by Nakano again. He said, he asked the same question to Kuranishi and got the same answer uh, as, a, as a one from me. So we started to write a joint paper. Uh, this is uh, on the on the characterization of smoothly bounded strongly pseudo convex domain uh, intrinsic characterization. Uh, let me write the theorem. Uh, Uh, let X be a complex manifold with a bounded exhaustion function. Such that uh, phi is uh, infinitely differentiable strictly purely subharmonic uh, and uh, let uh, ds square be a Hamishan metric yeah uh, i i could write in the same data uh, but uh, uh, that, uh, and uh, the covariant derivatives uh, of phi uh, are bounded. And assume, uh, also assume that uh, round D phi and uh, round D phi uh, inverse. Are also bounded, and uh, also assume that uh, the dimension of X is at least three. Then X is the boundary of some domain in some complex manifold uh, with a smooth boundary. Yes. Uh, I, I do, not, do not have time to sketch the proof of this. But uh, anyway, uh, this is related to currency in some way. Uh, after that, uh, uh, let me say something about that. Uh, there was a very special thing. Uh, related to currency, which happened in 1983. In 1983, there was a conference in Oberwolfer in which I attended with Gen Komatsu from Japan. I thought that we would have a chance to talk to Kuranishi, but uh, uh, we were told that he could not come because of an accident. According to Kranich's book, it happened like this. Uh, the following is uh, uh, by Kranich. When I was in Amsterdam to take part in a conference and walking on the street, at some crossing, 
a tram suddenly came nearby and ran over two fingers of my left foot. Fortunately, it was only one third of these fingers that I lost by the injury. But it wasn't strange that I had lost one foot or even the whole life. Since then, my wife began to advise me not to ponder over mathematics on the streets. Yeah. Yeah, it was written <laughs> yeah. in this way. Uh, we, we, of course, sent Kranichi uh, a postcard with several messages. I remember that before the meeting of Oberbrocher, I visited Akahori in Bonn. He was staying at the Max Planck Institute. At that time, uh, I had a chance to, to hear uh, how he proved uh, the embedding, embedding theorem of strongly pseudo complex mindfulness of dimension at least seven, uh, which was an improvement of Kranich's uh, paper. Ah, by the way, uh, in this paper, uh, I, uh, I quoted I Kranich's uh, embedding theorem, although I didn't use <laughs> his theorem anywhere. Yes. Now, yeah. Uh, yes. Then uh, let me go to the epilogue. The epilogue is. Uh, Yes. I want to say something. Ah, no, uh, so, sorry. sorry. Yes. Uh, in 1995, as I showed you, uh, there was a big conference in several complex variables. Kuranishi uh, gave uh, a talk there. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, in that in that talk, a problem of extending CR structures to a complex structure. Uh, yeah. Yeah. At first, a CR structure is given. Uh, in his talk, he tried to extend this structure to one side, and he wrote down uh, an equation uh, for the almost complex structure to be integrable. Uh, I said that Nakano had more than 20 terms, but uh, in Kranich's paper, submitted to the proceedings, the equation consists of six terms. Big improvement. And uh, I think if somebody continues Kuranichi, then uh, he, he should have a big chance to write a good paper. So th this was Kuranichi's. Uh, a continuation of the study of CR structures. But the study of CR structures also moved into other directions. Let me say something about that. A completely new branch seemed to grow, which can be seen in the same Hayama conference. An example is an Lazlo Lempel's talk. He talked on an approximation of analytic sets by algebraic sets. The results was applied in particular to refine 
uh, are theorem related to this. Uh, ah. Uh, in, in short, by Lempert's uh, result, this M can be taken to be algebraic. That was new, quite new. Mm -hmm. uh, in such a way, uh, the result was applied in particular to define this result in such a way that any strongly zero convex compact CR manifold of dimension at least five can be embedded as a CR real hypersurface of uh, a projective algebraic manifold. Yes. A strong theorem says that uh, a compact strongly pseudo convex CR manifold is the boundary of a strongly pseudo convex domain if and only if it is embeddable as a real hypersurface of an algebraic manifold. Yes. Uh, this is Lempert. A surprising remark given in that talk was that a theorem of Kiremigian implies that any small perturbation of the standard CR structure of S3 has a concave holomorphic feeling. Yeah, uh, these are about uh, convex feeling. You can find a compact complex manifold outside uh, a small, any small perturbation of S3. Uh, while by Nirenberg's paper, there are small perturbations that do not bound any strongly pseudo convex compact complex manifold. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Kuranishi's theory dependent on convex feeling, uh, but uh, concave feeling are possible in many cases. So let me finish my talk by stating a quite a recent, quite recent result in this direction. I heard this result first time last year in the annual meeting of of course, online meeting, annual meeting of Japan, Japan Mathematical Society. It was, the talk was given by Kasuya. He's in Hokkaido University now. The theorem by Kasuya and Zundas. The paper is still in the archive, but I heard that Kasuya is writing a survey in Springer Brief. Hopefully, it will appear in this year. Any close connected? Positive contact. Uh, contact structure is just uh, obtained by forgetting the uh, complex structure of a strongly zero complex CR structure. Positive cont uh, contact three manifold. Admits. Infinitely many uh, pairwise in equivalent uh, 
concave, holomorphic uh, fillings. Moreover, both Kela and non Kela concave holomorphic feelings. exist for any contact three manifold okay time is up thank you very much